to this video from Maine. My first time ever in Maine. We're at York's Wild Kingdom for the first stop today. We'll be taking three stops today. Here, Fun Town Splash Town USA in Palace Playland. There's just one credit to get here, like a wild mouse type ride. The entrance was very weird, but we're here. And I'll see you when we're at the coaster. Oh my god, how could I forget? It's a wacky worm. My first ever. Let's go. It doesn't open for another like an hour and a half or so, but sorry. Okay, so we decided we're gonna do the zoo. But first, I figured we'd look around this place. Look at that. But here's the wacky worm. These are some big birds. These are actually huge. Look at that. Super excited. Let's go over here. Yes, sir. All right, we just checked out the zoo. It was really nice. My third zoo of this trip. The monkeys are awesome. I love that. Spraying something here. Got about half an hour. That's the longest I we can really wait for this, but let's see. The first wacky worm, please be open. Should be. Sounds good. the wacky worm that was one of the most boring family coasters i've done but you know it was fine the laterals on the when we went around the second time before we went up the lift the laterals were great but yeah that uh, credit is a credit 288 um time to head up to phone town splash town usa now we are at phone town splash town usa and there's Excalibur, which actually I just found out shares a birthday with me. Seven years older, but still shares a birthday. So that's pretty cool. I better like it. This is another CCI, which I'm not going to be the biggest fan of. And I, but I always, always thought the drop looked fantastic on this ride. Hopefully that doesn't disappoint me. This station over there looks really cool. But um, yeah, I was just buying tickets and... So we're still in the parking lot, but yeah, the parking lot, eh. Um, it's like when this gets filled, there's some grassy area that you can, in stones, you can park in. But yeah, let's get the tickets. Let's head on in and go to Excalibur. So they have to drive around to try to find a signal. So, because it's not going through, you buy tickets in online in the parking lot. So if you plan on doing that, do not do that. Do it ahead of time or just buy tickets here, not online. All right, we are in, we bought tickets here. There's Dragon's Descent. This is SNS Drop Tower. I heard you can see the ocean from there. I've never actually seen the ocean in person other than from a plane here in Florida. So, excited to see it like up close. So, heading to Excalibur. The wild mouse in there, do that after Excalibur. Across this bridge to get over there. Oh, another sea dragon. Oh, yeah, this music, bro. Let's go! Wow. Across a bridge, really cool section. That reminds me of Bush Gardens Williamsburg with that bridge. A little bit. But yeah, here it is. About to ride it. I will see you once I get off. Really curious to see if I like this CCI.
All right, I just did Excalibur. That was a little bit better than I expected. That didn't disappoint me. That's probably my third favorite CCI behind Cornball and um, Shivering Timbers. Yeah, there's some good floater airtime moments in there. Even a pop of ejector, the drop was really good. And it's a pretty smooth ride. Good laterals, overall, really good ride. I'm gonna make sure to do it uh, as much as I can, but I'm gonna do the wild mouse right now. So, actually, I'll probably ride a couple more times first, but yeah. I just got off my fourth ride on Excalibur, and this might be my favorite CCI. I think I prefer it to Cornwall Express, which means I prefer it to Shivering Timbers. It has an incredible airtime. You get airtime all the way throughout the turnaround, like you don't fall back into your seat. It's kind of insane. Um, there is some tamer moments in there, but then you just get yanked with some aggressive moments. It is such a good ride. My fourth ride on most coasters is just like the best for some reason. And yeah, my fourth ride was certainly the best. I got very back in the right side. I got tons of room. Um, yeah, I've gotten the very back three times and the second to back. Um, on my third ride, so the back tire every time. But yeah, this is a fantastic ride. I'm gonna go, now I'm gonna do the um, Wild Mouse, and then I'm gonna come back and ride this. I'm gonna marathon this a little bit. So I will see you over at Wild Mouse. Yeah, I'm gonna ride the Wild Mouse. Let's get into the 290s. Let's go. Wee. Alright, that was one of my favorite wild mice, maybe my second favorite. The mid course kind of, that was really abrupt over, over there, there somewhere. Yeah, over there. Um, and But other than that, that was really good wild mouse. Mad Mouse is, yeah, Michigan's Adventure is still better, but. Time for the drop tower immersive theming around here. Wow. Solid drop tower, pretty good for an SNS. But. Yeah, back to Excalibur. Here you have the choice between Nazi, breast cancer, or America. Wow. All right, it just did three times in a row, but we gotta bounce gotta go. now. We gotta go to Palace Playland. Um, I was gonna ride it again, but I just realized it's 259, I wanted to lead by three. So, um, yeah, it's probably my favorite CCI, just over Cornwall Express, although it's close. That's close to Shivering Timbers too. I don't know, this three rides, this Excalibur, um, Cornball Express and Shivering Timbers are close together. Um, I don't know, man. But, time to go to Palace Playland. They, well, let me just tell you, the park, not anything too special, but it's fine. I mean, it's just, it just says this, and then, wow, well, must pretty good. The drop tower is decent, but, um, yeah, the park's, park's all right. It's got some cool looking areas, but Palace Playland, let's go. About to walk from our, ho our motel to Palace Playland, only five rooms. It's a nice place. All right, let's go. You can see Sea of Viper right there. We made it. Got my wristband. And I'm um, going to check out the beach real quick. But there it is. I just got a sea viper. That was actually really good. I had a little bit of air time, but a lot of laterals. With the restraints, man, that, I really like the restraints because you could get some weird forces on that. It's intense, there's some intense turns. And that threw me off guard, seeing the ocean like as you were dropping. That kind of threw me off guard a little bit. I was not expecting, I don't know, it was kind of mesmerizing, but um, I guess since we're right here, 
time to do wipe them. Um, yeah, wipe out. All right, let's go. Another SPF visa, my third this trip. Uh, here we go. All right, just did another SPF visa. That was my least favorite. The cycle didn't last long, it hit my head a little bit, and I did the front, so it wasn't as forceful. Um, back row is more forceful, but time for Orient Express. Yeah, me personally, I am about sick of those rides. Cool ride. Here we go. I just got off Orient Express. That was, that was actually insane. Like, that has so much width. It pulls you in that helix to start. That is the by far the most intense moment at Cape Coaster, positive G Force wise. That's the most intense ride I've done today. Like, what was that? That was actually insane. I'm out do that again. I might re-ride that again just because that was insane. Um, Alright, ready to go. I just did Riptide. That was, I can't believe it took me that long to do one of those. That's my favorite right here. That's like butterfly lateral combo. That was perfect for me. Um, I'm going to find something else to do, but yeah, that was great. I'm going to have to do it again today if I get the chance. Power surge. This is pretty, pretty fun. Uh, I mean, it just flips you around a bunch in the air. It's a pretty fun ride. Um, go find something else. Let's do this. Why not? It gets you out of your seat just a little bit, and then it like forcefully slams you back down into it. That ride is like every ride here is like super intense. Like, what is going on? I'm gonna do this because why not? I think I just realized my phone battery is only at four percent, so. I'm gonna have to end it for now and then cut to later. I don't know, I'll probably be in my hotel room or somewhere giving you my own on thoughts, but yeah, I'll see you then. Alright, not much to say really about Palace Playland that I haven't already said, but I mean, it's a great park. Um, I really enjoyed it. It's my favorite park I did um, on the day. And Sea Viper, that death turn, that lateral death turn is just insane. The helix after is insane really intense um but yeah that's about all please like and subscribe i will see you later